Okay, well today what we're going to talk about is working with sets. Okay, our, stand, or our learning objective for today is going to be to write sets and identify set, subsets and define a complement of the set. Okay, and there's no academic standard for this lesson. Okay, uh, the vocabulary is roster form. Now this is in your notes, so you don't have to write this down, but roster form is a way that we list uh, a set. Okay, it's in a list format, and we'll get into that once we get into the problems. Okay, set builder notation is another way to write this, and set builder notation is a way that we label what variable we're going to use. Um, so basically, we're defining a variable, and then what we're going to do is describe the set. Okay, so a set is like, if you think about it, you have a set of baseball cards, something like that it's a complete set of different cards things like that that you would have um, so as we go into sets we have what how do we write the T set of natural numbers that are less than six okay we're gonna write this in roster format okay well roster format is done with this thing called set notation so it's this little bra the brace type of looking thing that's a set notation. Okay, and we're going to label these. So what's a natural number? Well, a natural number is like how you would count. So for this case it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But it said less than 6, so we're not going to include 6. So there's a roster for. It's a list. You're just listing what the elements in the set are. Okay, so set builder notation very similar we're going to write t equals we're going to write the little brace but what we're going to put is the variable that we're going to use so we're going to say hey let's say we're going to use x and then we use a separation it's just a line up and down it just separates it this is the x okay break and then we're going to say x is natural numbers Okay, so we, we're just defining the fact that we're going to be using only natural numbers, so no decimals, no negatives. But then down here we're going to say comma, which is just breaking again, and we're going to say x is less than 6. So there's the way we use set builder notation. We use a variable, a description, and then another little description which is saying values less than six so it's kind of telling us what uh, natural numbers okay so how do we write n is a set of even natural numbers that are less than twelve well we're going to do this in first by roster format so we're going to say t oh sorry n read instructions okay n because we're talking about set n and we're going to say uh, set of even natural numbers that are less than 12. Well, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and that would be our list. Okay, and set builder notation, we're going to say n equals, and again, well, let's go with um, a, and let's just use a different variable, a and then we're going to list these. So we want natural numbers. So A is natural, even, let's go ahead and write that, even numbers. Okay, and we're going to say in comma A is less than 12. Now we could change this since even numbers would be, as we can see, counting by twos, we could say A is multiples of two. Okay, so we could do it that way as well. So we could substitute this in and say it's just multiples of two, and that would be what we had there. Okay, so it's the same thing. Okay, so we had our variable labeled, we had our description, and then we had what uh, type of natural numbers there. Okay, so in set builder notation, how do you write the solutions of negative 4x plus 3 is less than 15? So we've been working a lot with the 
um, inequalities. So now we're going to do the same thing here. So we have our negative 4x plus 3 is less than 15. So we're just going to solve it just like before. So the first step is just to solve. So I'll write this as a step. Just solve. So we're going to subtract 3 like we would always do. We would get negative 4x is less than, and if we subtracted 3, we're down to 12. We're going to divide by negative 4. And as we said before, what happens when we divide by negative? That's right. We're going to flip the sign. So x is greater than, and 12 divided by 4 and negative is going to be negative 3. So x is greater than negative 3. So step 2, after we solved, is we're going to write this in set builder notation. So that means that we're going to you know, give a set of solutions. So we're going to put, well, we're using x, so we have to use x in this problem. Okay, we're going to put our line up and down. And in this case, it doesn't limit us to fractions or decimals or just whole numbers. It says x is greater than negative 3. So that could be negative 2.1111. Okay, so we're just going to put here x is greater than negative 3. So it's actually simpler. Okay, the reason why we can't put, we don't need to put natural numbers is because we're not um, limiting this. It's just going to be everything. Okay, so that's something that's kind of nice. But you have to really analyze what you have here. Okay, part B is right there for you to look at. I want you to go ahead and solve that one and write it in set builder notation. So it look very similar to this, but keep in mind that you do have a Y. Okay, so we have what we call the empty set. Okay, also known as the null set. Now, for whatever reason, students really love the null set. Um, we use the null set as a circle with a little line going through. It crosses it out. That's a null set. And then we have also the empty uh, braces. There's nothing in there. That's a null set. All it means is it has no elements. So an element would be like one item. Okay, if you think about the classroom, the classroom is made up of students, desks, and teachers. Okay, the null set means that we're not including any of them. Okay, each element would be like you as a student, you're an element of that set. Teacher is a set, an element of that set. Okay, so let's do the subsets of this right here. Okay, we have, what are the subsets of S? Well, we're going to start, we always start with the empty set. So we're going to say the empty set. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go into li listing each element once in the set notation. So three, we're going to list them one at a time. So four, and then five. Okay, these each are subsets. Okay, and all subsets are is a smaller grouping. Okay, so if you think about it again, the classroom is a set students is a subset of the classroom teachers is a subset of the classroom all the desks in the room is a subset so that's all we're doing is labeling these the next thing we do is we go to two at a time so we go three four we're just listing all the combinations that's really what it is three five and then the last one would be four five that groups each of the elements together and then the last one would be three. So three, four, and five. At a, we're just doing three at a time. So notice it went no elements, one at a time of the elements, two at a time of the elements, and then all three. Okay, so part B, I want you to go ahead and do that. Now you only have two, so you won't be, you won't reach this line that I have. You really should just stop right here. Now the order does not matter, so Five, uh, four five is the same as five four. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and do part B. Let's see what you did, and I'll check that tomorrow. Okay, the next thing is we have what we call a universal set. A universal set is the largest set of elements. So again, we keep referring to the classroom. The classroom is the largest set that we're working with. Okay, that means everything else there is different subsets. The the next one is the complement set. 
Okay, also refer to, you'll see it in your books as, uh, excuse me, I, let me take that back. You'll see that as a notation of A like this. Sometimes they refer to that as a complement set. Um, I, I think they use that in the book there as well. Okay, so the set of all elements in the universal set that are not in the topic. So if we were talking about students as the set, the classroom would be made up of desk and teachers. So they're the complement of the students. Okay, and we'll get into that. So let's look at this example, example A. Okay, it says given that you have an H set of 1, 2, 3, and it counts all the way up to 10. Okay, and you have a G set that is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay, so the G is uh, a subset of H. That's what they're implying here. It is a subset of H. So what we want to know is what is the complement. So what is G, and we refer to this as prime, G dash there. That is going to be what is not in the big set, so the large set right here. What is not in there? Well, that would be all the odd numbers. So in roster form, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. That is the complement set. Okay, it's everything that was not in there. Okay, if I were to say we had some set I, and it was, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, the question is, what's the complement of that one? Well, if we're referring to everything being part of H, it is going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. It's just the rest of the numbers. Okay, and that's a complement set. So part B says, if you have a set U, that is car, truck, van, school bus, and bicycle, and that set A is the set of vehicles that have four wheels, what is the complement of set A? Okay, so if set A is all these items in this list that are four wheels, what is the complement? I want you to write that uh, complement set, and we'll check that again. Okay, so that's all we're doing for today. Um, we'll talk more in class about what sets are and subsets are. So if you have any questions, write them down and bring them in. All right, have a good night.